This is one of the high percentage counters to the basic ankle lock. I screw up, I give Don my ankle, he falls down. His foot usually comes up over my belly. This stops me from getting close to him. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hand and push his ankle down. I'm propping myself up so I'm more mobile. I push this down and I pop my hips over across his foot. I'm trying to keep my knee and foot pointing up at the ceiling. Show them here. There. I'm not going to leave it sideways. I turn it up. Normally, as I start coming up here, he comes back to his knees and we end up in the guard. Hopefully, I don't get caught again. So, I'm going to do this to Don now. I come here, I sit back. Stop for a second. If I'm here, he's going to roll to his side. So my outside leg is down. He's going to pop himself up and over my heel. Normally, I abandon ship and come back into his guard. Hopefully, he's learned his lesson. So to counter him hopping his hips over your foot, the first move is to be aware of where this foot is, your outside leg. If I'm just here, or if I'm loose with it, he can do it no problem. Push it down, pop his hip over. If, on the other hand, I'm really turning my foot so the ball of the foot is down and my heel is up, he can push on it and it's much harder for him to get it flat. He can do it eventually, but I didn't give it to him. And maybe in that interim time, by pinching my knees and getting my bite, I've managed to tap him. So that's the first level of counter. It's just the structure of this foot. Heel up, ball of toe, ball of foot down, like this. The next counter, as he pushes it down, he gets past that, hops his hip over. I'm going to drive this knee to the floor, here. I really have to turn Don's leg. I can't leave his toes pointing up. As he hops his hips over, I have to turn his foot to the floor. We're here. I've tried for this. He's hopped his hips over. Anyhow, I turn his knee to the floor using my knee. I go belly down. And I apply it. I'm ending up in the fifth leg alignment position that we talked about right at the beginning. Finally, I'm here, he's hopped his hips down, he's hopped his hips over, but he's keeping his knee pointing up at the ceiling. Move over. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hand that's not locking his ankle, grab his trailing leg, and readjust my knees. Now I go to the other side. If he hops his hips over, I grab his trailing leg and go here. 